Yo, hey, this shit hey. easy, nigga. Hey, I'm talking about, nigga, I'm still out here trying to get it. Contender Regime, boxing, checking back in with y'all, man. Caleb, Sweet Hands, Plant, and still the IBF 168-pound super middleweight champion of the world with a beautiful performance, a beautiful display of boxing, well-rounded. The brother did everything in the ring. This fight right here, I don't care what nobody say until I see otherwise. Caleb Plant is the best fighter at 168, the best super middleweight in the world. The brother can do it all. I mean, this guy he was in the ring with, uh, a Fagan butt, man, the dude was 31 and 2 with 28 knockouts, could hit. You know what I'm saying? He was, he could hit, man. And, you know, tough dude. You know what I mean? He, he lasted as long as they, as long as he could, as long as his corner was able to, you know, to stand to see him take punishment, as long as the referee was able to stand to see him take punishment, he stayed in there. Caleb Plant just plastered him all night with blistering combinations and just beautiful boxing. The jab was on point. I mean, the jab was pinpoint accurate, knocking his head back all night. Caleb Plant fought in, in close quarters. He fought from distance. He fought with angles. You know, he was twi he was circling the guy, you know, just hitting him with all type of combinations, man. Caleb Plant's punch variation and his, his diversity when his punch selections, man, is crazy. The brother got hand speed. He got power, you know, uh, great punch selection. I mean, I'm, I'm impressed, man. I am impressed. I really don't see nobody at 168 fucking with Caleb Plant. That's just, that's just what that is, bro. And I can't wait to see uh, Plant versus David Benavidez. That's going to be a hell of a fight. I really want to see Caleb Plant get in there with Canelo. I think that's a hell of a fight. I really don't see nobody fucking with Caleb Plant right now, bro. The dude really can do it all, man, and he focused. One thing that I really want to pinpoint is we talk about this all the time with guys having hometown fights, and you bring a tough, rugged fighter in there who can hit like Fagan, but you bring a guy in there and you think, you know, you think, oh, I'm just going to get over on him, you know what I'm saying, because he really ain't known like that. You bring him into a hometown fight, and it's a title shot for him, you know, he ain't got nothing to lose. You got everything to lose. And it's a lot of pressure. And you see a lot of guys fold in that situation time after time after time. Caleb Plant was so poised and focused. You can tell this brother really, this brother really take his craft serious. He really got love for the sport. And he really and truly want to show that he the best. You know what I'm saying? He got the heart of a champion, the heart of a dog, and the skill matched the heart. And when you got those two components with the with the boxing IQ and the ring generalship, bro, it's hard to stop that, dog. It's hard to stop that, man. Caleb Plant is the best fighter at 168. Y'all let me know what y'all think down in the comments, man. Contender regime boxing. I holler at y'all boys, man.